Hi there, I'm Chris with PearsonCopy.com, and I'm here to help your brand make more sales with email. As a part of my 100 emails in 100 days breakdown challenge, I am breaking down an email from um, Panerai today. I believe that's how they say the brand. And this email is actually the first email I got uh, when I joined their newsletter. Uh, this is the first email that they sent to me um, uh, after joining the newsletter through the sign-up form on their website. So with that being said, that's the context. I'm going to break this one down. This one should be pretty short and sweet today because it is a shorter email. Um, they are doing some things correct, and I want to commend them for that. There are a few things that I would potentially add or change to this email, and I want to pull those insights out for you so you can see them, take them back to your brand to make more sales. Uh, so yeah, with that being said, let me go ahead and jump into this breakdown. Um, so we'll start with the subject line, like always, um, uh, your Panerai newsletter subscription. Um, so this is just a direct, like, Hey, this is what's in the email. This is what you signed up for. Click on this. So it's really, it's more of like a direct offer, direct statement here. Um, I do like it. It's, it's different than welcome to the brand or welcome to the family or, um, 15% off in this email, et cetera. Um, if they were offering incentive, then yeah, they may have done that here, but the direct, just direct statement of what's in the email, uh, can work really well. So I would definitely test against this and maybe talk about the benefits or maybe some kind of expectation for this newsletter or um, something to that effect, uh, but test that and see which one gets better open rates and then go with that one. So the first thing in here is going to be their graphic here. Uh, looks like a uh, brand name with some branded graphics here in the background. Um, so we'll, we'll slide on past that here and look at the copy. So this email is short. It is straight to the point. Um, there isn't a whole lot of meat and potatoes to this. It's, it's just right or actually it is just meat and potatoes it's just right to the point there's not a whole lot of flair a whole lot of like um added added uh, seasoning to this so i'll go ahead and read this um dear mr p uh thank you for in for interest in panerai uh you are now subscribed to the panerai newsletter where you will receive exclusive news and updates on panerai its collections and events so thanks for joining and here's what to expect from us pretty straightforward pretty generic um I think that uh, this is just kind of a, a nitpicky thing for me though is um you'll receive you'll receive colon exclusive news updates on Panerai and um, collections and events. And just bullet point that would be really a lot easier to read and, and just come down the page with it. Even though this is only like two or three lines, um, doing that might actually get people, uh, it's just easier to read that way. So that's just a nitpicky thing. It's not really gonna affect much, but if you test it, great. If not, no worries. Next line here or next uh, next paragraph, you can update your personal information or manage your subscription anytime by visiting the My Account page at panerai.com. So this one, um, pretty generic, just saying, hey, if you wanna manage your subscription, go here. Um, when it comes to the first welcome series email, I wouldn't add this in. It's their first time in the email. It's their first time getting the email. Maybe put it in the footer if you really absolutely wanna have it there, but I would not put this in the main copy because this right here suggests that you're gonna to wanna to do this. You're, you're putting it in their mind, you're seeding it and you're, you're, you're priming them to think, oh, I don't want these emails anymore. I'm gonna update this and potentially unsubscribe. So I would just remove this entirely and just move on to the next thing. Next line here, we welcome you to explore our website at panerai.com or visit one of our boutiques. So they've got digital and um, brick and mortar. Um, I think that uh, when it comes to just generally saying, hey, go check out our website, they were just on your site. They just signed up for your list. And if they if they find this email, let's say two, three, four days later, they say, oh yeah, I signed up for the newsletter. Um, clicking through just generally to the site, uh, you might get some clicks, but it would be more advantageous to focus on a specific, like your best seller or your most, the three most popular products um, and, and be more specific about what products you're offering. So that's what I would do here. I would say, hey, these are our three most popular products. Go check them out and let us know if you have questions. If you're gonna link to the site or uh, to products in general. Then you have your uh, Panerai Ambassador sign off here, Relations Center with information, et cetera. So yeah, this was a pretty short video. I think the the three the three if I had to pick three big or pull three big insights out of this is one test your subject lines obviously and see which one you get the best open rate. Two, I would maybe work in, I would say work in like your brand story or your mission or something here, something that makes you different than other companies that are like this one. Um, on top of what to expect from the newsletter, that's the second one. Third one would would be is to remove any information that implies that you're going to want to leave. Um, this here, update your personal information or manage your subscription. It just implies like, hey, by the way, you're not going to want these emails later. So here's the link now so that when you need it, you can find it. So yeah, those are three big insights for this email. Thanks for watching. Um, please go check out my other videos on YouTube. There are 100 brand um, email breakdowns, uh, all different insights across the board for those. So go check those out. Um, yeah, in the meantime, thanks for watching.